talk now about the whole of Shachrit. Because the same idea that we spoke about in the Shema applies to Shachrit. Shachrit is a ladder. It goes up, up, up to the Amidah, into the Tahanun, and sometimes to Halel, and the Kriyat Torah. And we open up the Aron Kodesh, and we take out the Torah, like a doctor taking a baby out of the mother's womb. It's a new level that's born. We work very hard to get up there. The whole of the prayer system is very amazing to get up to the level where a new level of Mount Sinai is born every day, right? We can bring that down into our lives. So I want to talk now that the prayers go up from the bottom. First, we start with Berchot HaShacha. Berchot HaShacha is that we're saying, Pokech Ivrim, you open my eyes, Matir Asurim, you allow me to move. Rokaha Aretz I'm, I'm, I'm walking. The miracles of my body. Asher Yetzarat Adam B'Chochmah. You made me with such wisdom. You open yourself up to the miracle of your existence. The reason we say, Asher Yetzar, immediately followed by Elohai, Neshama, which is the, the body, the, the, the bracha of the body, followed by the bracha of the soul, is so obvious. The Ari says that Asher Yetzar has 45 words in it which is the gematria Adam. It is the essence of our physical being. And it includes soul, but between the two of them, this is more body. And Elohai, Nishama Shinatata Bi, the soul you've given to me, the soul which comes from the highest level, has 47 words in it, which is the gematria of Hashem's name, Yudke Vavke, and the gematria of Hashem's name, Ekie. And the two together are 47. And they represent the higher soul coming into the body. Our job is always to bring more soul into our body until our body becomes irradiated. But there's a secret here. It's similar to Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu was sitting in the beginning of Parashat Vayera. He was sitting in the tent. And it was the third day of his Brit Milah. And he was in intense pain. And yet he was in intense ecstasy. The Chachamim explained that he was able to be in a state of dvekut. He was like, similar to complete leaving the world, he was with, Gash, with Hashem. And then he said to Hashem, Adonai, alna ta'abur me'al abdecha, don't leave me, wait a second, it's the first call waiting in history. I gotta do something, I gotta be like you. Avram understood that to be with Hashem is one thing, it's the deepest thing. But to be with people, and to be like Hashem, to do what Hashem does, to do chesed, to care for somebody else. There's nothing like it. That's what Hashem is all about. Of course, it's not one or the other, right? The more you want to do this, the more you need to be connected here. And you keep going back. You, can, you connect, you plug in your, your battery to the wall, and now you go back. You plug in, and you go back. All of the prayers that we have, let's go in and up, in order to come down and out. We go into the Kodesh Kodeshim, to the Holy of Holies, to be with Hashem in the deepest place. And if you do know that, if you really understand what that means, it means you stay there, you breathe into it, you don't let it go, you don't pray too fast, you say the words with all of your being because there's somebody you're speaking to. The prayer is the most wonderful experience we have for, for, for energizing ourselves. And it's time for all of Am Yisrael to know this. We say the prayers, Hashem, Safatai Teftah, Ufi Yagiti Lakecha, Baruch Ata Hashem, we bow down. And when you come up, it's like you're coming up above the clouds and you see the whole top of the mountain that you never saw. Hashem, I want to talk to you. I want to be with you. I want to tell you about my life. And you know what? Hashem says, I want to hear so much of who you are. What have you gone through? And as we talk to Hashem, we realize that everything we've gone to Everything we've gone through on the way up the mountain, that was him. He was there. He made all the troubles for us. He was, he was the one who set it all up. So deep. All of the t prayers is to go up in order to connect, to know that there's only one, that we are connected to Hashem, and then to come down. Be joyous to know that we are connected to Hashem. It's time for us that we knew this already, right? It's time it was that we knew that we are connected to all the nishamot, all the souls. 
and they're waiting to reveal themselves down here. This is what the Ari says. This is what the Ramchal says. This is what the Vaz Tov says. All the great tzaddikim knew that to live in our time is the most difficult but the most incredibly potential pregnant time for redemption. All the troubles that are bothering us, when you connect into Hashem, then you understand it's nothing. Hashem is going to take care of it, but He wants us to connect to Him. He really wants us to have a deep emunah, a deep faith. There's something, or I'll finish with one thing today. There's one thing that's very, very hard. We don't believe it. There's something in me that doesn't believe that I can speak to Hashem. That's only a little tiny piece of who we are. It's trying to stop the bigger part of us. So you have to say to it, enough, die, enough, enough to the world that hides you, Hashem. I want you, I want Echad, I want to be with you. I'm telling you, these are simple but beautiful things to know. There's so much to be happy for, so much to be thankful for. We'll come back again. Shalom.